In this next video we're going to be looking at um, TIA portal and the Siemens Surarex um, load cell cars. So we have a, a 522 card here, so this is one card with two inputs, the 521, the WP521 is just one input. We are only using one input, which is a bit of a, a grip test. On the project, we won't be covering it in this video, but we're going to build this up over time. We also have the uh, compact field unit with some Profibus PA devices. And then I'm connecting to a larger rig with some Hart IO. So over the next few months, we're going to build the project up. And hopefully as you watch all of these videos, you'll be able to, to, to work your way through. The first video we're going to look at is um, integrating one load cell card into a blank project. So we're going to download that the uh, the demo project from the Siemens website. So the first thing we need to do is download the uh, sample program, and for for this example, we have a uh, WP uh, five two one, which is the single channel. The five two two is the dual channel. So from the support page, um, download the five two one support package and then put that onto your desktop and the project that is saved is an archive project so first thing we have to do is, is to retrieve that back into our project so if we open up TIA portal so this is a blank project I'm on version 15 so project um, retrieve and then we'll look for that file on our desktop and we'll now it's going to ask where we want to save so just for now I'll put that back into there so here we go it's found that I'm running version 15 so if we just open that it will upgrade my project So before you save the project, and this is really important, you must compile both the PLC and the HMI. If you save it before you compile, then it actually um, uh, hasn't finished the upgrade. So if we go on to the PLC, compile, and we'll do software and hardware. So I'll do the hardware first. Okay, and then and most of the time the error is located actually when you have the HMI. Let's see if it will so it has all the screens there, but we'll compile compile these. Um, Again, we'll do hardware and software. Okay. So we um, have our project ready to use, and to get this block up and running in OB um, one, I've just set a memory location just for the life bit because this really is the key so we need to see that toggling we're on channel zero if I go to my hardware I can show you what changes I've had to make to here so unfortunately the PLC in the reference projects was different to the PLC that I have so I've had to use the change device and I've changed that to a um, uh, a 516 um, Profinet and Profibus DP CPU. 
also um, for my project um, made a mistake I thought I had a single channel but I've got a dual channel so I had to, to change the card uh, all I need to, to make a note of really is this start address so to make it easy I'm going to drag that onto my OB1 Okay, I've got my tag. I'm using channel zero. If we compile into a download, and then if I go online with this, as soon as I see this toggle in. On the life bit, that's it. I'm talking to the Surex. Now have a look at some of these these other blocks. Um, the the way the Surex works, it works on um, commands being written to it. So it's not constantly reading and writing all of the 500 parameters on there and then bringing them back. Um, it's just bringing back the, the the process value and the diagnostics now that's two separate commands um, and that's what this command handling is doing for you so this FC here is um, toggling these uh, these commands commands a and B okay um, and then it's put those into the cyclic interrupt OB30 I think it's 100 milliseconds I might be wrong so every 100 milliseconds this comes on um, and in here I can see my, my FC if I want to you know, put more Sura in you can see this is pointing at, at, at DB1 okay so this is getting data block 1 to, to toggle so I would just have to keep adding these to get the other channels to toggle hopefully that makes sense because um, if I don't well, the other channels won't work okay so um, I would just copy that and paste it and then change the first part of the, of the data block okay what you've got to be careful of moving forward when more technology modules come out is um, I mean there's some flow ones coming out next year for instance if they start using um, the same FC here if you drag your FC from what would be the flow project demo project and it's different to the Surex you'll overwrite this and all of a sudden the Surex will start working and, and the flow will work you may have to do some cutting and pasting uh, to bring them in um, let's hope it's not like that and we have a different command handling um, breakout for, for each technology module that would make sense but um, don't hold your breath we'll wait and see so we're online everything's talking I can come down to the HMI now. If I have a look at the HMI, I can use the start simulator. Um, just be careful here. If you've got, say, like a, a field PG um, and it's got a built in Profibus DP port and you've been doing DP uh, with your PC PG interface, you'll come on here and also it won't talk. Okay? So if we go into your PG, I mean, for myself, my. my um, my mine is a, a plug-in adapter which isn't actually there at the moment so it's actually defaults into the right settings but when we come to communicate with, or sim, use the simulation we need to have your connection set to TCP IP yep as long as it's set to that this this simulation will work right so just pointing that out because I have seen a few people that don't realize that and you you'll lose an hour because you'll think it's your connection settings in your program or whatever but it's not go to go to this first and if you can see here 
this is updating quite quickly and there's all sorts of under here there's all sorts of diagnostic information uh, there's trends that I can use so this this is all pre-built up and it's really up to you how much of this that you use now hopefully you can uh, understand that this is just for one scale as we start adding multiple scales then um, things will start to get a bit messy so there is a project for um, multiple scales and um, I'll be touching how you configure that on a, on a later video so that shows the program working everything's communicating so let's just summarize how we've got that up and running for one scale so what we need to know is our start address in this case it's address zero make sure it's in the peripheral main memory area um, if it's outside of that then it's it's not going to work so zero give it a tag put it in the tag table spend a bit more time than what i have and then go to your ob1 set that into the address and then set the channel to zero it's up to you whether you get a, give it a permanent or a temporary tag just to test it but make sure that you set the tag for the life bit do a compile and download and as soon as you see that true and false flash in we've got communications with the Surex. so there you go so it's as simple as that 